Hi everyone, it's Rose here. I'm doing a work in progress on Esme's hair. And I thought I'd do a, um, a sort of review on the hair I'm using actually. Whoops, sorry. Um, as you can see, I'm moving along. Not sure if this is coming out right. Coming on the screen. Maybe it's my eyes. Still got a fair bit to do. Yeah. Just filling in a section just there. And then I might start on the back and bring it up. Now this hair is the first time I've used it. It's um APS A plus mohair for Rebon. I bought it from the lady on Etsy who also is on Facebook now the hair when you get it looks like this um, it's very very shiny as you can tell it's got highlights as you call them highlights I would say it's perhaps where the dye hasn't taken as well perhaps you can see it's sort of two-tone colours and it's quite curly so much so that I've had to actually straighten it to try and put it in because it was just too awkward so this, this lock is straightened with a hair straightener you can see the highlights more there and um, then I've got a bit here that I've cut which hasn't been straightened and if I zoom in you can see this hair here is quite thick and the thinner ones so it's like that all the way through That's so it's not as fine as Slumberland hair. And I think Slumberland hair, not that I've used Slumberland yet, but I have got some. I think that's um, finer all the way through. Whereas this is um, but I suppose it's more thicker than fine. I don't get a lot of those fine hairs. Yeah, I'm zooming if I get any closer I'll hit it. Yeah, so I'll get these really thick hairs which are a bit yucky. Anyway, once I've put it in, it looks a bit sort of fuzzy. I think that's the word. Yeah, that's fuzzy. Sort of look about it. It's still softish, but not as soft as in when it's in the lock. When you first get it out of the packet. Hmm. Now, one other thing I, I thought I perhaps might may as well show this at the same time. Um, I have this problem with when I'm doing the hair that um, I push it in and it only goes in oh, I suppose up to a centimetre at the most however when I carry on through the hair then I go back you can see there's tiny little hairs there oops put it in the right, right direction that hair you can see they're sticking out. Whoops! That little one was as long as the others, but it's continued to travel into the head during the process of hair rooting. Now I have no idea why it's doing that. Is it lost it now? There it is. I thought it might have been at first with 
um, Charlotte, that's the Quinlan sculpt, that I, because I was rooting so quick it was catching the hairs on the inside and pulling them in further, but I don't see how that could be if I've moved along. However, when I was doing Charlotte's hair, I remember putting my hand on the hair to see if it was taking any more through, and sometimes it was. It was catching the hair on the inside and pulling it through. So then I have to go back through the hair and pull those bits out. Some even travel all the way completely in. I have no idea where it's happening. This one's even shorter to see. Yes, yeah, so I just get the, have to go through it all and get the tweezers and pull them back out. That one just there. I struck some yesterday that are about oh, about eighth of an inch long. So I pull them all back out again to the right length. It's really strange. I mean, like I said, I have no idea why it's happening. So the light on him, I'll see the inside there. It's the top of the head there and I don't know if you can see any of the long hairs that are in there. I can see some. And that in the middle of the screen is sort of longish hair. It's longer than about a centimetre or half an inch. Then you go around the side, but I can't really show that sh much short around there. Oh, it's really strange. Now, some somebody suggested to me once to um, heat the head. And of course, as you know, in, with my Charlotte, I burnt the head, and that was with one of these lamps. Because um, I... I put it too, I had it too close and I must have knocked it and even closer. Anyway, um, I'm babbling now. I ended up getting one of these things, a heat gun. Um, and I just put that on for a couple of, I don't know, about 10, 20 seconds. And it just takes the chill off the head. But the reason for heating it was to make it so soft and then when it cooled the hair would be firmer in there but it still happened the, the hair still seemed to travel into the head and then when you tried tried when I tried to pull it out this is with Charlotte um, the hair was had seemed to have such a grip in the hole that I was sort of stretching the hair as I was trying to pull it out and sometimes of course it broke so why it would be so hard to pull out yet the hair continued to travel in, into the head I have no idea now I don't know if it's me or why I'm doing it but I decided to do as my um, further apart than Charlotte. Charlotte's I actually had to root um, thicker because of her burn mark. I should show you that. I'll zoom her in here. I've got me I'm plugged in down here. That's the iron thing that I hair straightener thing. Charlotte. Poor old Esme's body. <laughs> it's a bit funny. Now i get up, up underneath the hair here. As you can see how thick it is. There's the burn mark in there. And I'd I'd done, you know, a little bit, a strip from one end side to the other. Uh, a finely rooted hair, finer than Esme's. I wanted to go for that sparse look, but um, and then I burnt it and then I pulled it all out and rooted it thick. Now what I did with hers is I left it long, I didn't trim it as I went along and I curled it up, wrapped some tissue around it and then rolled it up and then put um, 
a band around it to try and stop the hair from moving. That was quite funny. She looked quite funny. I don't know if I posted any of the pics of her all with these little ball, curled up balls of stuff. That looked funny anyway. She's such a sweetheart. Changed her into a, a sleeper last night. Pretty one. I've got a funny feeling Kerry might have bought this. I'm not sure. What did I buy it? I've forgotten what it's called. Label now. There's a hat. Huh, I didn't tell you. I think it was called Little Baby. I don't think I'm going to be able to see the tag. There we go. Little me. It's printed onto the... Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure if Kerry in America bought that. Oh, sorry Kerry if you're watching and you did and I've forgotten. The lamb's... Oh, lamb. It's not a lamb. There's my lamb. It's a um, bunny. Auntie Susan gave us that one. She gave us this teddy bear too. And we're back, swing over here. Yeah, so that's my um, whatever you want to call it um, review on this hair. Now, I'd bought a few others bef of her hair before I actually tried using it, which I've got a habit of doing. So I don't think I'll do that in the future if ever I try a new hair or buy any new hair I'll try it first before I buy any more off that seller so that's my opinion oh I don't know if I gave an opinion at all um it was extremely hard like I said to root or oh, it is hard to root to because it's so curly um I haven't ironed this bit sounds funny when you iron it doesn't it but once you, um, when, once I've straightened it, I can't get it completely straight though. As you can see, there's still curls in there. But um, uh, it's much easier to put in when it's straight. Otherwise, when you've got these in your hand and you tend to spin it around a bit, and the, you can see they all sort of get end up all over the place in all directions. Hmm. Well, this video has got quite long. I didn't ex think I'd have it. I didn't expect to be this long. Anyway, I might do a bit of this before I have to go out. Um, yeah, I'm going to for Susan anyway. I'm going to try and maybe later today or tomorrow do a video of doing the hair. Now it's going to be a little bit awkward because so I firstly have this lamp on then I have this one on which I have right down here because I use the magnifier I don't know if you can see, oh you can see through look at that I have to use it, oh I've got dust on there and it's clean oh, terrible, Rose, look at all that dust um, so I'd have to put the camera be up here on the tripod up high and see if it'll work so I'm going to give it a go anyway because I can't do it from the front here because I've got this I just about have my head my chin resting on this thing see the head huh. anyway I better stop now this video is 14 minutes long and it's going to take forever to upload so I might just Put it to upload and go out. <laughs> yeah, something's flashing on here, and I don't know what. I wonder if I run out of space. Looks like it's still recording. Anyway, I'm rambling again, so I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.